Hello, good evening. It is Saturday afternoon right now, almost the evening. It's about five o'clock, well, about half an hour until. And Andy and I are in the middle of making our first apple pie. Yay, uh, we've never made one before either of us. So this is our first time. Um, we're using a recipe from Paula Dean. It's uh, Paula's apple pie filling. And I pulled it up from foodnetwork.com. So that's the recipe we're using. And I picked up some of the ingredients at Whole Foods today. I got four of the Granny Smith apples and four of the Honey Crisp apples, the ones that I like to eat normally because they're sweet. So we have that. I'm just using the Pillsbury pie crust because I'm not gonna bother making our own pie crust. So Andy and I have been here in the kitchen. Um, he was slicing the apples and working on the egg wash. And I was doing some other stuff like the uh, mix with the, with the um, well, let me show it to you first actually, and then it'll make sense to you. So he was cutting up the apples and then I put together this mix with brown sugar, flour, cinnamon, a bit of nutmeg. And um, so we put that on after slicing the apples and then coating them in fresh lemon juice. So I had a lemon and squeezed it with this. So we put lemon on it, coated it in the lemon, coated it in the cinnamon stuff mixture. And now here we've got the super cute pie plate from Anthropology, which we're very excited to use with the base layer of the Pillsbury crust. And then we will put the apples onto the pie dish and then put some of the cubed butter. This is just that Kerrygold butter that I use all the time. And um, then we'll do the second crust. I'm not gonna do a lattice where it has like the nice little weaving. I'm just gonna put the top on and keep it easy. And then we'll do the egg wash over top of that. And then I think we're supposed to add a little bit more um, sugar and cinnamon and then it can go in the oven. So yeah. Um, I'll show you what it looks like again once um, it's about to go in the oven. All right, Andy and I just put some of the apples in. It's getting like more moist or wet. Um, the mixture, I think, with the lemon and the flour and cinnamon, all that stuff. And then we just put some cubes of um, butter. This was three tablespoons of butter on top. And then we'll do the next layer, the egg wash, and stick it in the oven. The pie, and you just put on the egg wash. Looks beautiful. And then you're supposed to sprinkle cinnamon and sugar on it, but I don't know how much, so we just kind of made a guess. I kind of tried to crimp the sides of it and then cut some ventilation holes because I'm pretty sure when people make apple pie, they cut holes in it. So that's what we did, and now it's going to go into the oven. Right. Andy just pulled this beautiful pie out of the oven. It is hot, and it actually... um ended up well you can't tell but it leaked it leaked inside of the oven you turn the light on thank you baby oh that's gonna be a mess okay I'll have to clean that up later anyways yeah all the liquid like juices fell over and while he was about to pull out the pie I thought you know what I think my mom used to put a cookie tray underneath because it would leak so all this like liquid and juice comes out darn it but it does look pretty and it smells really good it smells super cinnamony so We'll have that along with some McConnell's vanilla bean ice cream for dessert after we eat dinner tonight. So that'll be good. It does need to rest for 20 minutes, so we can't touch it now. <laughs> We've got burnt, burnt tongues, but it looks pretty good. It smells tasty. It's our first apple pie. Yay. All right, so we um, have waited a bit for the pie to cool, and it's still warm. It's a very crispy, crunchy um crust and we've got some vanilla bean ice cream from McConnell's here so we've got our slices of apple pie smells really good with our vanilla ice cream so we are gonna dive in and have our dessert hello good morning today is Sunday um, so yesterday I didn't really vlog much at all during the day but I did show the yummy apple pie that Andy and I made together using the Paula Dean recipe it turned out good it was tasty I stuck it in my fridge uh, for now I was gonna leave it out but then I thought no I think you're supposed to refrigerate them hi stitch hi stitch um, yeah so the the pie was yummy it was good with some vanilla ice cream and now we've got lots of leftovers so I'm glad that we made that. It was our first time ever making an apple pie and we used that cute dish from Anthropology, which was kind of the catalyst to make this item. Um, 
So yesterday, what did I do? Um, I ran a few errands. I returned some items at Anthropology. One of the party decorations I didn't use for Andy's birthday. So I, hang on, let me show this to you a little bit better. I um, got some of these blue poofy balls and the green poofy balls, but the blue ones took a million years or so it felt to assemble about 20 minutes. And I decided not to assemble the green poofy balls so, or tissue paper balls, so I returned that. Bought more dry cat food, bought ice cream and apples for the pies. That was about it yesterday. I did have a holiday party at work on Friday and it was so cute. It was adorable. Um, it's kind of nice now that I don't do events in my job because I don't have to put together events or do any of that stuff. So it's pretty cool. I'm used to it now, now that I've been in this job about six months, but in the past it really stunk. Um, with my last job, I was doing those two full-time positions. They smushed it into one job, so I was doing um, it's administrative analysts like payroll personnel new hires recruitments and I was also doing the event so that was like a big mishmash with my last position and now I just focus on finance um, just reconciling the general ledger working on budgets stuff like that so anyways I didn't have to put together <laughs> the holiday party which is great and it was so cute it was adorable um, it was at work in the courtyard outdoors in the evening, Friday night, they had spaces like activity tables. They had a place where you could decorate your own cookies. So Andy and I made cookies. They had appetizers, a cheese table, some like warmed artichoke dip, ew. Um, they had the, the dinner set up, it was a buffet. For desserts, they had a hot chocolate bar, which was really cute, so you could get hot chocolate, and then they had all these different things you could put on top of it. And then they had a chocolate fondue thing going, you know, where it's just chocolate that goes down the layers and different stuff you could dip into the fondue, so it was very cute. Um, yeah, so Andy went to the holiday party with me, and he met more of my coworkers. He's already met some of them, though um because he works you know the building right next to me and sometimes he'll help me carry things into work like when i make cookies or if i bring in donuts he'll help me carry stuff in so he's met um some of my coworkers before yeah and then my boss was real sweet she gave me a card um and some lobster tails her husband um does a lot of like diving and fishing and stuff near channel islands near oxnard and he um, catches California spiny lobsters. And so my boss brought in lobster tails as like Christmas presents for I think our staff members. So she gave me two lobster tails. I don't know how to cook them. I don't know what to do with them. This is the card she gave me. That's why I walked over here. So now I've got some halibut she gave me a bit ago as a thank you for like working hard and do, covering our payroll personnel coordinator's job while that position was empty. And then um, she gave me the lobster tail and I know it's like really heavy. I was really surprised when I picked it up. It was, it's quite heavy, the two tails. I just, I don't know how to cook it and I'm nervous I'm gonna make a mistake. So anyways, right now I'm about to head out, um, go to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna get um, healthy stuff, focusing on healthy stuff, because I feel like on the weekends is when I tend to eat the worst, and I have a lot of sweets and desserts and treats, and I need to, need to focus on healthy stuff. So I'm gonna get some chia seeds and like coconut milk maybe to make chia seed pudding. And then I'm gonna get stuff to make um, turkey stuffed bell peppers as a dinner. Sometimes when they sit next to each other, you can really tell the difference in their size because Stitch is, you know, a few pounds bigger than Fig. Yeah, you're bigger, aren't you, Stitchies? You're a big boy. <laughs> and Fig's my little boy. My little boy who follows me out in the middle of the night and if I can't sleep well or I just, I just can't sleep throughout the night, I'll come out into the living room and Fig follows me and he's just my little shadow, huh? He's mommy's little boy. <laughs> and Stitch, of course, is in love with Andy and I've got some cute pictures of them. Hello, I just got back from Trader Joe's. That's the only place I ran out to and I got some groceries. Trying to do things a little bit healthier today. <laughs> so you can see I got chia seeds and um, I know they have regular chia seeds where it's not organic in purple packaging, but it was not at my store. They only have this type in the yellow packaging. It doesn't really matter to me whether it's organic or not, to be honest. So I'm gonna um, mix the chia seeds with the coconut beverage, kind of coconut milk, 
and see how that turns out. Make a little chia seed yogurt type of thing. And I've heard you can add fruit to it and honey and like other types of things. Maybe I could add peanut butter. I don't think that sounds good, but you could do whatever you want. I got orange juice. We'll see how this is. Their fresh squeezed orange juice. I do really love the orange juice that I get at the farmer's market, but I didn't drive all the way downtown yesterday and stop there just for it. Um, plus at the farmer's market, it's $10 for the size and at Trader Joe's it's $5. So yeah, we'll see how this is, how it compares. And then the recipe I want to make is the, um, so it's the ground turkey stuffed bell peppers tonight. So I got more ground turkey. I actually have some in the freezer, um, but it won't defrost in time. So I just bought more for tonight and then I'll keep the other stuff in the freezer and make it another time. So I've got ground turkey breast, um, red bell peppers and green bell peppers and marinara sauce as well as jasmine rice and um that'll all be for the dinner tonight and then i've never made bell peppers i think i also um, use an onion for it and some cheese um and then i think the garlic is actually also for tonight's dinner and then i just got more lunch meat for my lunches at work and I also got some of their bread for it too, just their white bread so I can have my boring little lunches at work. Some more bananas, cause I've been trying to eat them more. They're such an easy fruit. I don't really like them, but whatever, they're easy. Just grab one, stick it in your purse, take it into work. And then some more butter, my usual Kerrygold butter. And um, last week I made some chocolate chip cookies just before Andy's birthday. I brought them into work for him to share with his coworkers and for me to share with my office. So I needed more chocolate chips and then I just thought I'll get more brown sugar because I can tend to use it somewhat often. And this oatmeal that I'm always buying. <laughs> this is my breakfast, my super easy breakfast every day. Just some oatmeal. And I think I already mentioned the garlic. So there we go. Those are my groceries. And I'm gonna um, heat up some lunch. I still have some cleaning that I didn't finish yesterday so I'll do that and um, I guess that's it for now see hello it is Sunday evening we are preparing dinner right now we're making the ground turkey stuffed uh, bell peppers so we're just doing the preparations right now um, so I'll just show you what we've got going on the recipe is from delish.com and they call it Trader Joe's ground turkey stuffed peppers with pepper jack but we're not going to use pepper jack cheese because I have a bunch of other cheeses so right now we're just starting the preparation so Andy is cutting up the onion I've got the ground turkey out right now and then I'm heating up the pan and then I think I'll need to wash and cut open these bell peppers too um, I don't know what the difference is between the red and the green and if they taste different or something So I don't know you're supposed to get four bell peppers So that's what I did and maybe we'll each try a little bit of each and see which one we like All right, we are starting to stuff the bell peppers right now. We've got a mixture of the browned ground turkey One cup of cheese one cup of marinara. We have the onions and garlic that Andy sliced up all the stuff you just mix in here and rice. I'm not sure if I mentioned the jasmine rice. You just take everything, smoosh it in a bowl, which is wonderful, very easy. And then spoon out into the bell peppers. And then we'll put a little bit more cheese on there. And then I pulled out the leftover crescent rolls from his birthday dinner. And we'll just have, I don't know, two rolls along with this. And we'll have leftovers. I am keeping the cheese out because after you spoon the stuff in, you put a little bit more cheese on top and the recipe I think says to use pepper jack but I have so much cheese on hand we're using a combination of mozzarella and cheddar so we're doing that type of cheese instead we just pulled the uh, stuffed peppers out of the oven actually I still have the oven light on um, yeah so they look good they're hot and they have a nice crust on them with the cheese that we sprinkled on top. There's plenty for leftovers. And then those are the um, Pillsbury Crescent Rolls that I made extras of. I actually think that I made too much rice. I thought I was supposed to do two packets of the jasmine rice, but maybe I wasn't supposed to. Because I had all this extra rice that I cooked separately in a bowl in the oven. So this is hot. It was just in the oven. Um, yeah, so we've got plenty of fillings. <laughs> but I'd say it looks pretty good so far. So... Hopefully it's tasty on the inside and there we go. There's our dinner. Today is Monday. I just got home from work. I wanted to follow up on some of the weekend vlog stuff 
So the dinner last night with Andy, the ground turkey stuffed bell peppers, turned out just okay. I'm not a huge fan personally. When I've had ground turkey in the past, it just kind of tastes like nothing. And it's kind of reminds me of tofu a bit. Like there's just nothing to it. But my mom did just send me a recipe that she likes to use with ground turkey. It's, um, well the name of the recipe is ground beef and apple filled acorn squash halves, but you can also use ground turkey with it. So maybe I'll try this. <laughs> And you use cinnamon and some good, um, what else? Cinnamon, salt, apples, raisins, brown sugar, some stuff to give a little bit more flavor. So I might try that recipe. And I did the chia seeds. Hang on, let me turn that light on. Uh, but I didn't try it this morning. I was um, busy this morning getting ready for work, so I haven't tried the new chia seed pudding thing, but I'll show you what it looks like. So you can see that the size of the chia seeds, um, they've grown a bit, they um, expand, and you know, this is how small they are in the packaging, and this is how larger they are once you put them in with the coconut milk. So I think I'm gonna have to add some stuff to this, like maybe a banana, or my mom suggested chocolate chips or honey. I'll just need to do something to make this a little bit more flavorful, probably. And then um, I actually got some anthropology stuff in the mail, which is exciting, especially because I don't shop there much anymore. But they've got all these great sales, so um, I ordered a kimono, kind of like a shawl type thing to wear over uh, this dress that's a little bit tight fitted and I don't like to wear it at work without like some kind of jacket or something. So finally got a kimono, got an awesome deal on it, hooray. And this is it. I just have it hanging from the cabinet here to show it. It's a nice length to it. It's definitely, you know, sheer and light. And I like that it has all this um, sort of beading on it. If you can see, it's got this little bit of gold and, and then the blue and the brown and the pink. So all throughout it, like on the front and on the back, it has some extra beading. And I feel like I got quite a steal on this because it was originally... $138 marked down to $90 and then I got it at $30 so <laughs> I feel like $30 that's okay but $138 you guys are nuts and where's my new whisk I got this super cute um, squirrel whisk that I've been wanting for a while and I've been eyeing it up and I finally decided to just go ahead and order it so uh, it's just a whisk you know, I actually already have a whisk, but not as cute as this one. I needed this one. Um, the handle is actually pretty heavy, so it'll um, really help me while I'm whisking. Anyways, it has this cute little squirrel on it, and he has this little acorn, and I felt like I needed it. So, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, so that was exciting to get that in the mail. Mostly I'm getting like Christmas presents. Actually, I think I'm about done with Christmas presents by now. I just need to start wrapping them. So it was nice to get that for myself. Anyways, I just wanted to wrap up this vlog and I hope that you enjoyed it, watching some of the cooking and different stuff over the weekend. And have a good week. Bye-bye.